I made her acquaintance. San Francisco had been rocked by an earthquake, and the terrible fire that followed had, as a consequence, that the elder brother of Gertrude Stein and his wife, Sarah, came back from Paris to San Francisco, and this led to a complete change in my life. Mrs. Stein, Sarah, brought with her three little Matisse paintings, the first modern things to cross the Atlantic. I made her acquaintance at this time of general upset, and she showed them to me. She also told me many stories of her life in Paris. Within a year, I also had gone and I had come to Paris. There I went to see Mrs. Stein, Sarah, who had in the meantime returned to Paris, and there, at her house, I met Gertrude Stein. I was impressed by the coral brooch she wore and by her voice. I may say that only three times in my life have I met a genius, and each time a bell within me rang, and I was not mistaken. This is the story of four Americans in Paris at the beginning of the 20th century. Leo, Gertrude, Michael Stein, and his wife Sarah. They were among the first to discover, understand, and acquire works by unknown artists named Matisse, Picasso, and Juan Gris. The strange alchemy of their combined personalities contributed to the invention of what we now call modern art. Ils sont venus progressivement, c'est d'abord Léo. Léo qui a, je dirais, une, une carrière d'étudiant très dilettante. Hein. Il commence un peu de médecine, un peu de droit. Euh, et, euh, et finalement, il va partir faire un tour du monde. Le Japon et surtout l'Europe, les grands musées euh, européens. Et finalement, il, il décide de s'installer à Paris euh, à la fin de 1902, dans, je dirais, un contexte parisien qui était relativement libéral. And when Leo took an apartment in Paris, Gertrude decided to join her brother. Leo was her, her model in, in these years. He was her mentor. He was her best friend. And the two of them, this young uh, man and woman in their early 20s, they really um, wanted to see the world. Sarah Stein was a native San Franciscan, and she and Michael married in the late 19th century. They were really intrigued by the reports that they were getting from Paris, from Leo and Gertrude. They settled a couple blocks away on the left bank. 